Hey guys, YouTube World 100 here. Now I'm continuing my Christmas reviews. Now I'm going to review you know, what may probably be one of, if not the most legendary Christmas story ever, which is Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not really going to, like, review, like, a certain, one certain movie, because there's just, like, so many versions of, of, it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't even name all of them. I can't even name every single version there's been because there's just been so many the different movies of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Basically, I'm just going to just review the story of it, not an actual movie. All right. Yeah, so this well, this story was first released by Charles Dickens in 1843 on December 17th, yeah. And as pretty much all you know, it's a story about Ebenezer Scrooge. He's basically just becoming what he once was before, yeah. And yeah, there are characters in the like Ebenezer Scrooge, obviously. His employee, Bob Cratchit. His nephew, Fred. His old partner, Jacob Marley. Three different Christmas spirits, Ghost of Christmas Past, Present, and Yet to Come, yeah. There's Bob Critchett's family, including his son, Tiny Tim. Mm, yeah, there are also some other, there are also people that collect for the poor, and Scrooge just turns them down, yeah, I mean, this is just like a legendary, this is like, a legendary story for Christmas and yeah like I said this was probably one of the most legendary Christmas stories of all time and so overall I would probably give the mo give the story about maybe 3.75 maybe even four stars out of four yeah but yeah it's gonna be debated whether or not it's 3.75 or four stars out of four but yeah so yeah let me just get right into the story Alright, so the story begins with Scrooge just like walking down. It's Christmas Eve, yeah. And he turns down an offer to give some money for the poor. And when he arrives at work, work, his employee Bob Critchett asks if he could have the day off tomorrow for Christmas. And Scrooge grants him that, yeah. And then Scrooge's nephew, Fred, comes. He tries to invite him to Christmas dinner. And then Scrooge just turns him down. Turns him down and throws Fred out. Yeah. And then when two other people try to come and ask for money for the poor, Scrooge also turns him down. Oh, too. Yeah. Then later the night, that night when Scrooge gets home um yeah he then is visited by the ghost of Jacob Marley and then yeah Jacob Marley he says that because of what he did when he was alive he robbed widowers and swindled poor that he has to carry chains through all eternity he, yeah and then he tells Scrooge that in the night He'll be visited by three spirits. Three spirits, and if he doesn't obey them, he, he'll have the same fate as Jacob Marley. And then later, when Scrooge goes to bed, he just doesn't... Feels like that was all just a lie. Then he went to bed, and then later on, the ghost of Christmas past asked, came to him. And then he took Scrooge... Scrooge to show him like his how he was before, or yeah, and then yeah, and then he shows Scrooge sees like how he w was when he was working for his old boss, Mister Fezziwig, yeah, and then yeah, and he sees how he was for his was for his old girlfriend Belle love Isabel or whatever yeah and then yeah it shows how he used to be to her and then later on she just 
loved his goal more than he did Isabel, and he just basically dumped her. Yeah. And then, yeah, Scrooge just couldn't take seeing that anymore, and he just asked the Ghost of Christmas Past to take him back home. Yeah. And then later on that night, I, Scrooge was then visited by the second spirit, who was the Ghost of Christmas Present. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, and then he just is showing Scrooge, like, people buying the makings of Christmas dinner, the celebration of Christmas, and the lighthouse, yeah. And then Scrooge and Ghost of Christmas Present visit Fred's Christmas party, where Fred is speaking of Scrooge with pity, yeah. And then, later on, this is probably the biggest part of it, the Ghost of Christmas Present takes Scrooge over to Bob Cratchit's house. And then, yeah, he sees, like, what a very... Looked like some really bad dinner. It was, like, basic, basically nothing. Yeah. And then, yeah, it shows... Then shows Bob Cratchit's son, Tiny Tim, and he's just, like, absolutely ill. Yeah. Ill, yeah. And then he just... But he's always just seemed to be full of happiness. And the Ghost of Christmas present tells him that if things remain the way they're going, then Tiny Tim will be... Yeah. And then all of a sudden, everything just disappeared. Here, yeah. And then... Then Scrooge is just, like, faded over into a cemetery that takes place in the future. And then he's approached by... The Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, or Ghost of Christmas Future, whatever you want to say. And then, yeah, Reach, he shows Scrooge, Christmas Day a year later. And then, yeah, it showed Tiny Tim was dead, and Bob Cratchit and his family were there. Were there just over his grave, yeah. And then, later, the Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come then shows Scrooge another grave of a wretched man whose funeral local businessmen would only attend if lunch is provided. And then Scrooge then sees that that grave was his. Yeah. Yeah. And then... And yeah, Scrooge was just sobbing right there, and then he just is pledging that he'll change his ways in hopes that he may, quote-unquote, sponge the writing from the stone, yeah. And then Scrooge just then awakens like that. Scrooge then awakens, he's back in his own room, and it's Christmas Day. And then, yeah, he's just filled with joy and love in his heart. Or, yeah, and then, yeah, he gives the money to the collectors for the poor, and then he then said, then told Fred that he would attend his Christmas dinner. There, yeah. And then he goes over to Bob Cratchit's house, and he, t he gives them the turkey for Christmas dinner, and he also gives... Bob Cratchit a raise and makes him his partner, yeah. And then the movie, the, well not the movie, the story I should say, yeah. It ends with the famous line to Tiny Tim, God blesses everyone. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, pro I'm probably going to go 3.75 stars out of 4, yeah. Yeah, this is a... Really legendary Christmas story. Like I said, probably the most legendary Christmas story of all time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it for my review of the story of A Christmas Carol, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I couldn't review an actual movie because there are just so many movies of the story out there that, yeah, it was just impossible to pick just one of them. 
possible to pick up a certain movie. So yeah, I just decided to review the story instead rather than the rather than one of the movies and so sorry. So yeah. Alright, so that does it for my review of A Christmas Carol. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Sorry it was a little bit short, but yeah. I just was able to go through this real quickly. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.